guys and gals, what's crack lack and spicy here. Welcome to my channel, welcome to another video. In today's video, I got a little story time for you. A uh, subscriber of mine has been watching me for quite some time. Uh, his name's Owen Daly. I hope I said the last name right, man. D-A-L-Y. I suck at uh, name pronouncing that, pronunciations. I can't even pronounce that word. Golly. Anyways, he requested that he wanted uh, the story of my biggest deer that I ever killed. And it's, it's a pretty neat little story. Um, he's asked for it twice. I just had some other videos I needed to put up on my channel. And, uh, man, today, Owen, I am getting to your video. And we're going to talk about my biggest deer that I've ever killed. I've been hunting since I was probably 11 years old. 11, 12 years old is when the first time I went hunting. I've never seen a buck. I've never had a buck step out. I've killed some pretty big does before, but nothing substantial. That I can say, hey, this this is my biggest deer. This year, um, I actually got to do a little bit of hunting. Last year, I didn't get to do any hunting, but this year, I got to do a little bit of hunting. I took the time and practiced with my rifle, with my shooting with my left hand, uh, because I can't shoot with my my right hand just yet. So I didn't get. I got a kind of a late start on hunting season. I wasn't able to go out and do any bow hunting because I still can't pull back my bow. I. Uh, I've tried a few times and I just can't. I just can't do it. I was actually thinking about uh, that. Is it the Acubo? They got a, a training bow. I think it's called Acubo. It's kind of got a bungee core to it, uh, rubber rubber band type deal, and you you can pull back and train with it. And it also helps with rehabilitation, a shoulder injury, elbow injury, wrist injury. I was actually thinking about looking into that and seeing if that helped me kind of get going with. Uh, getting back into bow season, but I took all of bow season to practice with my rifle shooting with my left hand. I started out shooting my grand, my my father-in-law's 30 caliber rifle, hardly any recoil whatsoever, and it, it was a light gun. So that's what I started out with hunting. <clears throat> in the stand that I was hunting in before, I would park my car up by the road. And I would walk back to my stand, and it's probably three quarters of a mile to my stand, walking through the woods. So, I'm walking out through the woods, I'm, I'm trying to get to my stand. I'm fat, so it takes a good little bit. And then, I finally get get to my stand, start walking up to the stand. I've been hunting the stand for about a week now. Sitting in the stand, uh, I, I've got a lane out to the side of me. I can see out just a little bit. And then I have a lane out in the front of me, and this is a big old uh, wall, black walnut grove. So it's all open. We, we clear cut everything. And I've done this for about five days straight, uh, morning and evening time, and still have not seen nothing. I, I, well, I take it back. I did see a few uh, little spike bucks, but here in South Arkansas, you can't shoot a spike buck. There were some does when I walk in in the morning, there, there'd already be a doe out in the corn pile and they'd run off the time I can get a shot off so th this one evening I just I get tired I'm just like it was I think it was the last day I hunted in that stand I'm like this this is I'm done it's probably about five o'clock still had about 30 30 minutes of daylight left so I come out walking out of the woods well just as I'm coming out of the woods getting into the backyard of the house that I was hunting at over to my left I hear some some deer blow at me. They just they blow, and I, I'm trying to look and see where they're at, because I don't hear them running just yet. And all of a sudden, they just they finally just take off running out through the woods. So I'm like, man, if, if I would have seen them, I would have took a shot at one of them. So I go on. And I start walking back towards the house, and I know over on the other side of this shed, usually there's some deer out in the little pine grove that they got going on. So I walk up close to the barn. And when I walk up to the barn, I kind of pan my way out to look. And standing right in the middle of the driveway, looking back, is a buck. All I can see is horns. So I step back around the, the side of the barn, and I kneel down. And then I'm just looking out straight. I'm waiting on this buck to walk out in front of me. And then about that time, he, could, he just comes kind of trotting out through right in front of this little swing uh, that's right out in front of me. Well, I kind of, I kind of snort at him. Like, hey, 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 hey. And he stops and he looks at me broadside. And he messed up when he done that. Because I, he stopped right between 
that tree and that swing and I pop I propped up my gun got him in my scope and I pulled the trigger and whenever I shot he took off he just kind of tried off towards the woods his tail was down I knew it was a good shot uh, he was only about 20 30 yards away from me when I pulled the trigger but when I walked out to the woods um, I didn't hear him run out in the woods much at all so I'm looking just right there in the edge of the woods and sure enough he's laying right there he didn't run maybe 20 yards and this is this is what I got a little six point um, you can see right here one of the one of the spikes is broke off looks like he's been fighting but uh, this is a 13 inch spread to a lot of deer hunters this ain't very big at all uh, they, they wouldn't never shoot this but this is my very first buck ever um, actually the very first buck uh, other than a little spike to walk out on me so yeah I took the shot um, I was I was super excited you know he's walking out there and he's looking at me and I just I laid him down uh, I'm I'm very excited about this little rack uh, this will I'm gonna do just a little little wall mount uh, they got little mounts that you can get from Walmart or uh, Tractor Supply. I'm just going to do that and hang them up on the wall. He is nowhere near as big as old Bucky up there. Um, but next year, I will try to make it to where I can get some more bucks to come out. But I, this this was a humongous deer. This was the biggest body deer I've ever shot ever. Uh, it was massive and we got a ton of meat to fill up the freezer with. Next year, obviously, I will try to get something a little bit bigger than this. But to this day, this was my biggest, my biggest deer, uh, my very first buck, my only, the only buck I've ever seen since I was 11 years old hunting, and I'm 32 years old. So I was, I was excited about getting that. Uh, again, a lot of people they wouldn't even thought about shooting this. They, they let it walk. But me, to have my very first horns. I had I had to do it. I had to put it down. And it was a great shot. Uh, right in the kill shot. Couldn't couldn't be any better. So oh and man, that's kind of how it went down. Um, getting my first deer. It, it wasn't in a deer stand, but uh, I shot a deer nonetheless during during deer season. It wasn't illegal. The shot went great. So guys and gals, that's just a little story time from old Spicy for y'all. Uh, Owen. Thank you for recommending that story. Uh, sorry it took so long to get it to you, but here it is, man. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to get out of here. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up because those things are awesome. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Until then, remember, everybody's got a little backwoods in them. I'll catch you later.